Hello everyone, welcome to the Dodgers Podcast. Hi. Very relaxing as always. Um but uh so me and uh we haven't done a podcast in like a a hot minute. Two weeks. Yeah, and I did say weekly. In fact you can see it on the channel art, so let's tune into our weekly podcast. Sorry. Um just tune into our ha- ha- random. Yes, and we're not going to talk. We're, last time we looked up some cool, funny little news news bits, and we, we some shit happened. So we talked about that today. We might, you know, we're just going to see what happens. We're going to go where the wind takes us. We're awaiting the arrival of a special guest. Um, but f- until he. Or she, let's say, arrives. Uh, Sam and I would like to talk. And Sam already knows what we're talking about because I stopped him in the middle of a store and I was like, <laughs> people on the podcast need to hear this. That one friend from school needs to hear this. Hey, uh, shout out to Ashby, man. Shout out to Ashton Irwin. Ashton Kucher. <laughs> okay. And shout out to Caleb, of course. That's my boy. Sure. That's my son. All right, so we're talking about uh, dreams that Sam has had. I told him I had a dream where he had a child, and he was telling me about his dream. A couple weeks ago, he had told me about um, a dream he had where he was invaded by the Russian Mafia. Bear Mafia. No. This was two weeks ago was the Russian Mafia. <laughs> now we've shifted shifted to the bear mafia Sam, would you care to start from the okay beginning? the beginning about five years ago okay i had a dream where me and my grandfather fought off bears dressed in suits that were the bear mafia at my grandma's house of course man i know that myself in the future has definitely compiled a picture of what the bear mafia would look like please display that upon the screen now yes fearsome creatures anyway we won. Boom. Fast forward uh, years, five years, till a little while ago. Okay. I think I, I think I remember the dream you're talking about. I was being, there was a bunch of different mafias. Yeah. Uh, it was essentially the same thing. I don't remember where I was, but there was the bear people, Russians, and some other mafia. Mm-hmm. Uh, Stop. Either Stop way. It. Whatever. Either way, I won because I'm the leader of my mafia, I don't know. And then, two, two, three, four, few nights ago, I, uh, I have a dream where, it starts out with I'm at my grandparents' house, and there's a bunch of family, and we're just chilling. Then my grandma's like, yo, vacation. So we get to this inactive volcano with a lake on it, but it's only me and my grandparents. Of course. I don't know what the fuck. But also, if I go back to, like, the resort, which I kind of just teleported there in my dream, some family's there, I let it. Yeah. Either way, we're chilling on this inactive volcano by a lake. I see some dusty-ass, broken clout goggles stuck in the sand. Mm-hmm. So, took a picture. Okay. Volcanic clout. Can you show that picture now, me? Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Great discovery. Wow. We're going. Okay. Then... I, I'm exploring the woods a little. It's not really woods. Well, no. It is woods. Okay. Oh. It's it's a few trees that scatter. You know the volcano in Ragnarok, how it's just a few burnt-ass trees? Yeah, yeah. Basically that, but only right there was burnt. The rest of it was more like rocks and the clearest, bluest water you've ever seen. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. I see some people wearing black, red, and chrome. So I'm spying. I'm doing, doing what anybody do in their dream. And then behind me, oh, found out they were fascists. And I'm chilling, minding my own business. And then bam, dude's behind me, kidnaps me. What? But he's, he's a good fascist. Why'd he so kidnap he, you? Because I'm on their volcano? I don't know. Okay. Actually, I probably did know like 12 seconds after I woke up, but anything after that I forgot. Of course. Either way, uh, I get kidnapped. 
And then he's a good fascist, so he's like, I'll let you go, but if I ever see you again, block it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So then, uh, I, it only happened Wait. for like... What happened to your grandparents? They just disappeared. I don't know. Okay, the fuck. they left. They just stopped existing. Nice. And then I get back to the resort or whatever, and it's it's probably normal. It's not important to the, uh, non essential to the story. So of course, uh, I forgot. But then it's all out war. Fascists. I, I don't know if they're bear people. Probably not, because I don't think they fit the setting. But when, when do bear people ever fit the setting? <laughs> yeah, when do when do, you never expect the bear mafia? <laughs> They're the most ruthless of the mafia, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. But then, uh, that's I just woke up. That's it. I didn't fight no uh, fascists. I didn't see any Hitlers. Sam, can I just say yeah. I fear that the bear people are gonna return for you? If they do. You'll be the first to actually know. My mom will be the first to know. But you'll be the second to know. Alright, I'm about to say something. If you think I'm fucking joking, suck a dick. I'm not. Bear. Fucking get a, get a notebook and put it by your I, bed. If I you wake know. up screaming in the middle of the night because you get eaten by a bear person, quickly just write it down. <laughs> I'm talking... You don't know what's it? write this shit down you want to know what's in my um notebook sure little drawing of pikachu on a post-it with the little red dot that hindus have Mm -hmm. um the sticker from my fake ass supreme shirt um a devil's trap from supernatural the dragon language alphabet from skyrim the pronouns Oh, uh, I, I actually learned a little bit of that. Uh, some random ass math that somebody did. That wasn't me. My alphabet that I created. Uh, my mom's name in my alphabet. My dad's name, Brianna's name, your name, and Why Joe's the fuck? name. Is there like check mark next to people or something? <laughs> uh, Crossing off our names. And then you skip a page. It's empty. Skip two more pages because those two pages are ripped out. You got, in quotations, Connor gonna win. Sammy boy, tree. But tree's, tree has been redacted, but it's not officially on there. Then, you skip about... Oh, what the fuck was that? Skip about 90 pages in. Uh, you got a ripped page. Actually, three or four ripped pages. That's not important. That's stuff that Madison drew and put on my wall. Then, you skip a little bit farther in. You see one of those rejected things that Madison didn't put on my wall because it honestly looks terrifying. And you skip to the very back. You got A C A C B A B D A D, and then A equals four, B equals two, C equals two, D equals two. I don't know what that is. A thirty, B thirty, C thirty, A ten, E ten, A thirty, D twenty, D twenty, D fifty, C fifty. I don't know what the fuck that is either. Uh, what is that? Looks like somebody tried to use whiteout on a already white piece of paper. I don't know where whiteout exists in this house. I'm actually fairly certain it doesn't. Then you got an anchor that says Hope. Because Madison wants a tattoo and she wants my mom's name on her for some reason. Okay. She doesn't want her. She doesn't want her mom's name on her. That's about it. It's made out of some fake ass leather kind of looks like a crocodile it's got some pages ripped out my my alphabet is taped back in because i accidentally ripped it out nice um i can tell you about something that happened at school today uh so we're walking out right we see schnar schnar uh to me and my friend kevin he was on my he was the one on my snapchat story who had the gun in his mouth all right anyone, anyone who was like misunderstanding that it wasn't actually there were people being loud in our classroom and he turned around and he had a finger he was making a finger gun with his hand he had it in his mouth and he was screaming and it was really funny you can display that video now you saved it of course Dude, i'm I not done know. i know um is, is there something relevant here no 
Okay. Well, okay, we're walk. I'm, me and Kevin are walking out, right? And then it's raining on the sidewalk. And Kevin drops to his knees and he he yells at the top of his, his lung. He's been yelling the whole way, just like random bullshit, like always. And he drops to his knees and he yells, God is tearing me apart! At the top of his lungs. And we both just start crying laughing. So that's funny. Go ahead and say your non-relevant thing. Oh, I think I've already told you this, but I didn't tell your two friends at school this. Of course. I didn't know Snapchat told the other person when you saved something in the chat. I thought it was just for your personal remembering. But no, I have saved everything anybody has ever sent me. So not only can they see that I read their shitter and ignored them, but I saved it. So... I'm just going about my business. It doesn't doing like that. Not, it when you, not, not when you save um, texts. It, they appear gray. Oh, you didn't know that? No. I it thought appears it was just for the me. other person. I thought it was just me. Because I nobody I talk to saves stuff, so it always disappeared. So, I thought it was just, just me. I could go back and remember what the fuck I was talking about. But then I get a... I get a message from my cousin, in all caps, why did you save that? I said, because I save everything. And she said, delete it, bitch. And I said, no. And I, saving every message that's said, that said, by the way. Because mm -hmm. I still save everything, I don't give a shit. But yeah, I, I kind of freaked out a little bit when I realized that everything that's ever been sent to me, or I sent, is saved. There's, uh, there's been some questionable things sent. Like what? This dumb shit that I said two years ago. Oh, good. On accounts that I don't even have anymore. Not accounts, um... You got your dick pic saved in this thing? Yeah, dude. Uh... Yeah, man. I saved some fun- I only save funny shit. Like, one thing I saved in me and my friend Bella's chat, um, I said, what did I say? I, I sent, I forgot what I was going to say. You forgot what you were going to say. All right, Sam. Uh, you know, in English class today. Sure. Um. Yeah, I was there. <laughs> fuck. And, um. Oh. Hey, hold on. I hacked up. You might hear something. Oh, no, you didn't. Get off of the I... internet. You're just talking right now. That's what it do. In English class today, uh, our English teacher asked us to uh, uh, describe your ideal society. Like utopia. <laughs> Go ahead, Sam. I'd love to hear your ideal yes! society. Yes, okay. My ideal society. I'm a dictator. Oh my god, all right, this is bad. <laughs> it's good. No, I'm the best dictator that's ever existed. All right, crime. Hey. What? Hitler said the exact same thing. <laughs> All right. So did Stalin. Stop. Crime is basically eye for an eye, but some cases it's eye for your life. All right. So if you're caught stealing, first time, boom, fingers broken, one finger. Shattered. Jesus Christ. Hey, don't what steal. What if it's like a teenager? Just being a teenager. Don't steal. Don't break the law, and you won't have to worry about it. Alright? <clears throat> then, second time, two, and second finger's broken. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, need to, I need to correct your ideal society here. So a teenage, a little boy, five years old, is in the store with his mommy. A, okay, okay, there's a limit. Uh, Who's well, the judge here? Me. You're the judge for every single crime that's ever committed. Yes. You're going to be in every single court all around your... I am the overlord. Okay, 12 and under, if you... Whatever, if 12 and under, nothing happens. Unless it's like a nothing serious... Nothing happens. 
Unless so, it's a serious crime. If you steal happened? something... Hold on. Shut up. Okay, say a 10-year-old steals an apple okay. from the store. Nothing would happen the first time, then... So he just gets to keep the fucking apple. He... he the apple. Whatever. Then... After a few times, like, all right, you're banned from the store. You can't come in here. If he finds another store, banned from that store. Then he gets old enough to realize his decisions are wrong, which is 13 in my eyes. Oh, my. In my. Are you saying you're going to break this child's fingers? I'm saying if that child has been stealing from my stores for years, I will shatter his grubby little fingers. Either way, let me get to the good stuff. Get to the good stuff. So, that petty theft is just a broken finger. You'll live, alright? Murder, you get killed. Same way you killed the person. Unless... No. no. You get killed. Uh, if you rape somebody... You get you... to rape them back. No, it's... It's a little bit- it's more of a torture, then murder, then kill, execution. Alright, what if they're like... I don't want to see him again. I don't want to see her. Did I just hear it? All right, let me get back uh, to. Jesus Christ. Joey. Oh, is that you? Uh, yep. I yep. Hello, Pop. Sam, I'm actually gonna fucking break your fingers. Can I get back to my dystopia now? Hold on. Our friend has just arrived from the dark abyss, and you're like, can I continue my story? That's not, that's not safe for him. Joey, um, we have a podcast now. Did you know this? No. That's what we're doing, because Sam started talking about his dream, and we're just sitting here talking about random shit. Um, we can cut it short, though. Unless you'd like to continue. I just want to say my... All right, my... just... Well, end it. Just say your stupid utopia. Okay. Update Joey. Okay, Joey, my dystopia, my perfect world. I'm a dictator. Uh, I control all crime. If you steal, broken finger. If you steal twice, two broken fingers, so forth. Uh, murder, you get executed. Rape of any kind, you get tortured and then executed. Right. Okay. No. Right. Okay. Hold on. Um, you know the U.S. right where it's like you have a right to pursue your, uh, whatever it's called. Uh, the person who accused you of a crime. You sure. Get, um, you get to confront them. Confront your accusers. That's what it is. Um, would you have a right to like if someone's like that dude raped me? I would like to torture him. Yes. I was getting there. Okay. If they so please, they can be the torturer and the executioner. Oh my god. Hey. Shut up. It's my world. How do they how do they how are they executed? Any way they want. So what if you what if they're like, I can't do it. I can't and then you're like, alright, so does the fucking executioner just decide how he wants them to go? I decide how they go. <laughs> can you, can you... Execute them by torturing them until they die? Yes. Oh Sam, my God. I want to say, you're like, I'm the judge for everything. How do you expect, like, thousands of crime or like hundreds of crimes a day, you manage all of them? I mean, my dystopian is not. So, not someone that steals thing. something in a grocery store and they're on the run, and then they look back and they see you sprinting after them? <laughs> yes! Whatever. Also, in this. I'm an overlord being. I'm fucking god. Whatever. Who cares? All right, this it's is when you tope. We're getting into fiction here. Okay. Whatever. It's I tell the other people what to do if I'm not there. Okay. Happy. Whatever. I'm getting into the juicy stuff. Okay. Rape of a child or diddling a kid. You don't exactly get to die so easily. You're tortured for years oh my God. if that child if that child is six when you diddle them uh you're tortured until they turn 18 
can't, you're not gonna die. You're just gonna be in severe pain. You know, until there's, they um, there's these Indians, like Native Americans that we learned about in history class, and they're like really fucking brutal. And um, if you got kidnapped or if you got captured by them, they'd slow roast you on at the stake for days. Hey, and you would not be happens, dead for a few days. If I don't, I literally can't think of anything worse than diddling a kid. Yeah, if you diddle you a kid. The crimes down. What about like, and the laws? I guess. Um, what about like? Are you a fucking socialist? Like, are you? Well, it's how are you gonna deal with debt, money. Well, uh, it's just your average capitalism. Or, so America. Long, capitalism. Yeah, as long as you don't break any laws, you're fine. So, what do know? What do know? What do know? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I just did. Um, <laughs> but is it like socialism or like everything is like not socialism, whatever it's called? Uh, I don't think it's communism, but is it? Are you talking about everything? Where everything is, is like equal. No, that's that's communism. No, yeah. that's no good. If you're doing a better job than somebody else, you get paid more. Okay. If somebody's doing a shit job. Why would I pay them? You know what I'm saying? You know, somebody said, um, they had to convince the teacher to let them say their piece. But they said, like, special ed children, or dis- the dis- not the dis- mm, there was a difference. Like, disabled, like, um, people that are born disabled, like, they can't walk. If they're intelligent, they can stay alive. But if they're like, he, he said he'd get rid of all the special ed people. Because, I mean, because they did not help his society. And as long as somebody, stuff. as long as somebody is willing to provide for them, which their parents most likely would be, because mm-hmm. that's how it works. They, they're chilling. Who cares? If their parents are bringing home enough bucks to support them. Who cares? Um, I just had something in my mind, but I can't remember. Hmm. Oh, there's, I mean, freedom of religion, whatever religion you want, but, um, there was pagan. I you were God, right? Don't they have to praise you? <laughs> they so choose to praise me, but Norse paganism is pushed a little bit more than the others. All right, let's say that you, Sammy boy, this is real life. Yes. Ten years, you this happens. Ooh. You're a dictator of fucking this new continent that rose up, and you're like, I need this, but so you claim it, and then it, you're you're the leader. What happens with me and Joey? Like, did we get any benefits uh, or? Well, I mean, you you can be both second in charge, unless one of you wants to be second, one of you wants to be head of the military. But what if me and Joey are like, we want to be, we both want to be head of the military, but like, we can't settle this, how do we? Uh, well, uh, you know how America has army, navy, just another branch. What if me and Joey both want to do the, uh, the floaty boats? The navy? I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> What if me and Joey both want to control the same people? Um, simple. You don't. Sam. <laughs> okay. All right. Who's the hey me? Um, here? You know what to do. Uh, please Photoshop <laughs> Sam onto Hitler <laughs> and display the picture. Now. <laughs> it's been done before. Uh, well, you were. <laughs> I had Stacy tattoo on my forehead. Can you give us like I know you as a dictator you got to give these inspirational speeches. You want to give us a taste? No. What? <laughs> Come on. What's your what's the continent called? Or do you just take over? <laughs> I mean, best case scenario, I'm the, I'm the ruler of Earth. Okay. All right. Well, this hey, is not this is not best case scenario. This is 
you get a giant ass island like the size of Washington State that rose up. Ooh. Out of the island. Out of the world. So what are you calling this place? I don't fucking know. It's in like the safest area possible, like no hurricane. Oh, there's like it might be an earthquake or something. If it's an island, why would there not be hurricanes, but there would be a hurricane? I mean... <laughs> yeah? <laughs> why would there not be earthquakes? I mean, I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, okay, we're ending it here. I'm over it. I just want to be a dictator and kill people. It's a good movie. What? The dictator? Dictator. <laughs> okay, well... Thanks for watching. Our, uh, this is a very short podcast. Not really. It's about half of our... Half? Really? Are you mocking me before I even speak? <laughs> yeah. Yo, this, this podcast is gonna blow up. <laughs> Super like Mega? Bad. Never heard of him. Dongers TV? H3 Podcast? Who? Um, ah. Thank you for watching our dream session. <laughs>